One of the most powerful ways you can enhance your Google site with other applications and things that you're doing is through the embed code. Now embed codes are HTML codes that allow you to embed like many applications. And I mentioned this briefly when talking about say embedding a YouTube video or embedding a calendar. But really, many apps that you work with on a regular basis might give you embed codes and you just have to kind of look out for them. So for example, I use Tinkercad a lot to share documents with my students and if I were to grab, say, the embed code from Tinkercad, I could copy this. Sometimes the application gives you some settings before you embed, like editing or size changes. And if I copy this code on my Google site, I can hit the embed button and instead of embedding by URL, I can embed by the code and it'll show me a preview. So this will actually place this three-dimensional document on my site. And just like an image or another doc, I can move it around, change the size, whatever it might be. From a student perspective, this allows you to really enhance your site by, again, adding all the different things that you work with. So for example, if I show you what that looks like from a published perspective here, I can actually now see that three-dimensional icon of this application that I use. So this could be maybe the introduction piece of a design challenge that I want to show my students something that they have to start working on or use as inspiration. Tons of applications that you might work with every single day has embed codes for you. So for example, Flipgrid, if I look at the share button, there's this little embed icon. And I can grab this embed code, go to my Google Sites, embed something else using the code, and I can embed my Flipgrid right onto my Google Sites. So now there's this nice join button on my sites that my students can access. And again, like anything else, you can change the size and work with it. When you're working with the embed, uh, oftentimes changing the size in Google Sites isn't going to necessarily change the embed code. That has to happen when you generate. And we saw that when I generated my Tinkercad embed code, I can actually tweak the sizes. Flipgrid doesn't really give me any settings to work with. So that's going to change depending on the application of what you're dealing with. Other applications, like for example, I like to embed my social media accounts. I can embed my project the day stream from my classroom Instagram page. So if I go down here, grab my embed code, paste that embed code, I can insert that. And again, kind of change this one does allow me to scale. So every app is a little bit different. But now by using these embed codes, I've now taken these three applications, these three ways to further enhance my site. And if I publish it and then just refresh my, my publish here, you can see that I have those applications embedded on my site for my students to use, my parents to see, and again, to kind of further enhance my website by using these different applications. So a big, big plus of Google Sites is that you have this embed tool that allows you to, again, just bring in other icons, other sites, other applications that you're working with and embed them into your general Google site to share that with all of your users.